Amgard told me stories. Said the pestilence turned men's faces inside out. Made them grow limbs where none should be. But the world was nearly lost in its wake. And she prayed. And the Sarum would never need to return. errand. There's no sum worth bringing the likes of them to shore. Too late for any of us. So, it's true. The king is dead. Long live the king. He was a great man, and a good friend. I, I will mourn him. We will all mourn him. Your father's soul is at rest now, King Magnus. The people look to you for strength. I offer my condolences and my counsel. As I did for your father for The many Great years. Pestilence has returned, Lord Bowers. Uh, yes, I have heard the rumors. They're not rumors. Even now, it ravages the island of Sacra just off our own shores, turning their men and women into unspeakable things. The Pestilence is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. Is it now? How convenient. You question the church? You're not the church, Madrigal. You're just the tip of its spear. Enough. Whatever the cause of this sickness, I cannot allow it to spread. My father has been weak for many years. I will begin my reign doing what he could not. 
My king, you are grieving. I must recommend against it. It's any... already done. Tomorrow, Madrigal Selene and her Inquisition will set sail for Sacra. I promise we will cleanse the island of this wickedness. Our new king's faith in the church is well placed. Our king's faith was never in question. Ellsworth is a strong ruler, your grace. Sacra will recover. No. Sacra will be reborn. This is my responsibility to the kingdom. With God's hands, we will reach into every corner of the island and bring it like a newborn babe. Screaming into the light. State your business. Quickly! Don't think just because you failed the beast, you're an ally. It's all right, Winnick. I apologize for the lack of hospitality. My friend here has his guard up for good reason. Once the raiders took the old fortress, their bloodshed has drawn more and more of those... things towards our city. How did you manage to slay that monstrosity? My god. Your serum. The Watcher's call has been answered. Ha! I told that old coot he was wasting his time. For once, I'm glad I was wrong. Serum. In the flesh and on our island. <laughs> I thought you'd be taller. Your kind's welcome within our walls. I trust you'll find a home here. Seek the Watcher up in the rookery. Welcome to sacrament. It's an honor to meet you. I've only ever read the ancient texts about your kind. They have come, Master. From across the sea. The pestilence. It festers. Everything it touches. Did you not hear? The, the serum have arrived. They won't come. Never answer. I apologize. He was, is, a brilliant scholar, but oh, it's been so long. God's reach. They're already here. Governor Ellsworth. Madrigal Selene, I apologize for the lack of a formal welcome. If you sent word, it must have been lost. A welcome sight, though, aren't they? <laughs> About time Phelan sent reinforcements. My Inquisition is here as an act of mercy, Baron Winnick. There is an unholy presence on this island. I have come on behalf of King Magnus 
Who sent King Magnus. Me. The boy. I... Forgive me. I thought you had heard. Your brother, the king, has passed. How long? It will be a week tomorrow. You should return to Phelan, Governor. Your nephew has extended his hand. He invites you to rejoin the family. Thank you, Madrigal. But Sakra is my home. Sakra will be in capable hands. My Inquisition have quartered ourselves in Fort Reach, and will remain for as long as it takes to heal this island. Fort Reach? Sacrament's a bit out of your way, then, isn't it? My outfit encountered a group of raiders as we came ashore on your coast. We sent all of them to rejoin God, save one. I thought she might be of particular interest to you. We could have left her body by the side of the road with the other animals. Consider this an offering of goodwill from the church. <coughs> Our people were sick and starving. We're done begging for scraps. We take what we need. Odessa, don't. Leave her. I'm sure the governor can properly discipline his own daughter. At least as well as he governs his city. My apologies, Madrigal. It's... She does not stand for sacrament. Some right I don't. Guards. Take her away. This way, Rithin. I should have never taught you that little move. You will arrange an escort for my vanguard to Kaelin. Kaelin? It will be done. Is there anything else we can do? You can rejoice, Governor. Your salvation is at hand. Oh, the Inquisition at our gates, and Saruman on Rookery. We've prepared lodgings below. A humble room, to be sure, but safe and warm. I hope you've arrived in time to save our fair island. Not only in time to... Witness its ruin. Ellsworth arms field hunts and farmers and sends them to the slaughter. I wonder, by the time we breach Sacrament's gates, will anyone be left inside? You're fighting for a dead man. Ellsworth can't protect Sacrament. He can't protect anyone. You're sick. All of you. Try and stop me. Keep me from Anora. But I'll save her. Protect her from... from you. Impressive. This isn't a sewer anymore. It's a tomb. See? I knew it! Sacrament stands because of me! It wasn't your place, Serum, to make a deal with a prisoner. Nor perhaps my place to let you. But don't worry. He was never out of our sight. Tell him, Serum. I honored our deal. And an hero deserves an hero's pardon. <laughs> Sacrament doesn't bargain with murderers. You're headed for hard labor at the Mountain Gate, by order of the Madrigal. You shit-smiling bastard! <laughs> and you? Well, I think we understand each other, Serum. You and I, we do what needs to be done. Consider yourself a citizen of Sacrament. You've defended this city. Now, 
You may make it your home. That much easier to find you later. I hear nothing. The mountain won't yield to your words the way men do. Of course it will. All I need is someone who speaks its language. Some of them begged. Some, Some of them prayed. When we took, took their eyes and cut their throats. But there are no gods to answer. Not even yours. People of Sacrament, my people. We find ourselves in a place we never sought, under the eyes of history. A plague that spent a thousand years confined to stories is now clawing at our gate. The threat of anarchy swells beneath us. God's chosen descend from on high. And none of us can say what tomorrow will bring. But what I know is that our stone walls do not compare to the strength of our will. And I know both will withstand whatever rises against sacrament, no matter the cost. History has called upon us. And history will remember how we answer.